How you guys doing? Alright, so almost done uh, with the camper repair. Did have a little problem with the wall uh, up there in the corner. <clears throat> from, I mean, it's just it's such a tight fit. <clears throat> uh, the trimming came out there. So I figure out a way to how to tuck it back in there. I don't think I am. And then right here, if you see, but this is not going to be able to uh, show. This is the, the cupboard's going to be in here. Um, so you're not going to be able to really show that. Um, it's just a little tight fit. I mean, I even got the router and went around the edges. And still had a little trouble um, uh, with it. Uh, same thing on the other side. Luckily, I was the wood. Uh, the paneling was still loose. I was able to uh, trim it down more. Um, so I got that wall up. Um, the trimming. I, I I can't remember if this trimming was here on the edges. Like if you see right here, uh, it's not very really good. I went ahead and put this here, and then put the decoration. Um, uh, back up uh, piece right here. I kind of messed up on you have to really kind of get under there. <clears throat> I got the uh, I don't know what they want to call this the decoration around the window. I got that back up. I got the bunk half the bunk uh, back up. It's all secured. Uh, it's actually a I mean, it's pretty tight fit compared to the last time. Um, I went ahead and raised this part up. I remember my last video, I raised this part up because the way they had it, um, it was missing a stud. Um, and I should have replaced that wood there. It's kind of cracked. So I may have to do that different project. Uh, replace that. Got the lights hooked all back up. Uh, got the speakers hooked back up. And this one tin outlet on here. <clears throat> Uh, you had to stab the wires in the um, receptacle, the outlets part, and boy, they're tight in there. That's a it's a tight fit. So I got that put back up. Um, I got the thermostat put back up, and my when I first took it apart, um, I took it off wrong, and it broke. I want to do that um, in cowboy. I have to, I have to buy a new one of that, but that's, that's secured in there. They got the, the studs on both sides. Um, I did go to Home Depot and get some trimming, some flat trimming for right here and right here. Up there, I'm not for sure if I'm going to do it. I might just go ahead and do it. You're not going to see it. The, the bunk comes up here. So I got trimming for right there. Got a corner trimming for the top piece. I may go ahead and do right here because uh, it was a little uh, loot, uh, the fit was loose. So I may have to go ahead and stick a corner piece there. So really not much to do. Uh, and then I got to put a fresh sheet of uh, Lawan down here. I was going to go ahead and rip it up. Uh, but the foam is sticking to the Lawan. So I'm just going to cut that out right there and um, uh, trim that back and then re-glue it back in there so I mean the wall is pretty tight it's a lot better than what it was especially up here this is kind of loose it's pretty sturdy uh, the trim piece right here I thought it was gonna make it I mean I guess if I wanted to push the wall out more but then that wouldn't have worked because for some reason the part right here it didn't line up uh it was a little shit i don't know the top piece should have gone went in more but i had to put a little bit longer screws in there but that's a tight fit i mean tight um so everything's coming out pretty good uh i did go ahead and move the brackets 
see in there. The L brackets right there. I went ahead and moved them up into a reinforced. I mean, it, this whole thing is pretty sturdy. It was pretty flimsy. Um, I mean, it's not going nowhere. If anything, I could probably put uh, a screw right in here to hold this better. But before, <clears throat> they had... I can't remember what it was. I think they had a big, long screw going up to this. Um, holding this part up. And as soon as I did that, the whole thing just flailed. There was nothing supporting the back parts at all. So it's pretty tight in there. I actually broke a screw trying to put it through there. I drew pre-drilled a hole. And then I broke the screw so I had to put another one uh, in there. Um, my wife wanted me to move the bunk down a little bit. Because uh, due to the fact that there was not much room up here for someone to sleep. But, I mean, it's going to be for kids, the little ones. So, I mean, that's, I mean, you can't really expect much. I can't really lower it. Oh, you can see from the top, there's not much there. I mean, maybe two inches. I mean, that would have made a difference. And then on top of that, the support, there's no support um, after a certain point in here. And definitely on that wall, there's not support. I would have had to bring everything down uh, to do that. But everything's turned out pretty good. Uh, got rain coming in, so got most of the cutting done. The only thing I have to do is um, put the decoration uh, back around here, which is right there. I think it's just two screws. Put that back up there. And that's pretty much it. There's not much, much to do. Hopefully get everything done by tomorrow. Um, they did finally open most, I think starting the May 2nd in New Jersey, they opened the state parks. So, go ahead and go, go take that out, um, for maybe a weekend or something like that. Um, and, you know, take, I can't take camping. I clean up in here, a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, got the fire signature mount, um, put back in. Uh, I did forget to uh, mark it, so I luckily I had my old paneling that went there. Um, that that goes there. The fire extinguisher. I'm not sure how old it is or not. I mean, time to replace it. I don't know. There's no tag on there. There you go, and then uh, I have a flashlight I'm gonna put right here. I mean, I gotta pre drill it because uh, I put the reinforcing here before it was all rotted and this came out. I don't know what the gap was about. I, I tried and tried to get to sit back in there, and it was tight here and tight on the top, so I don't, I don't know what happened. It's like the whole thing just got shifted or something, I don't know. But hopefully by tomorrow, I'll put another video up and uh, the decoration, uh, put that back up there. Um, and just get the camper all cleaned up. Now, I did went ahead and, you know, this can off top. I went ahead and put two 6-volt batteries in here from 
Sam's Club. Now, I don't know if it's because it's exactly 12 volts. I charge it, and uh, it stays at fair for some reason. I don't know why that is. But I had a fan running in here all night long, and it did not change. So I wonder because it's not two 12 volt batteries, um, if it if it doesn't if it reads a different reading, because when I took it to the tester, it says exactly 12 volts. But when as soon as I as soon as I kick it on to charge, it says charge. If you hear, if you hear it, you hear it charging now. So. But I had these lights on all day, and um, uh, it doesn't do anything. Let me turn a couple lights on. See now, now it says good. So I don't know. And I got I saved the Velcro pieces. I believe there's one here. I think one goes in the corner, and then. Two or three on this side and two on this side. Um, for the... That holds the back piece on. And I went ahead and... Resupported this. This is for the... Uh, the table. The table pull uh, support. Um, so I tried to resupport it before. I put some glue on there. Some uh, uh, liquid nail. And it's pretty tight now. Right, Just right here in the middle. It's a little loose, but I can't do nothing about that. Uh, it just holds the table from wobbling. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I'm going to try to finish it up tomorrow. Um, uh, there's not much cutting I have to do. The cutting for this, I could probably do in here. And just go ahead and vacuum it up. And uh, get everything put away. But that's about it. You guys take care.